just what will we come across this time? Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing, so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe! And Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper, it's secretary. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Shenhua! Shenhua! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold her head up high and break into a big smug smile. I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not... Uh... Shenha? <sighs> I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well... Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice comfy bed. All right? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Okay, if you insist. Great, now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel.
Hi there. Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers, either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Sure, huh? You should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Hyman's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Hyman couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. <sighs> All right. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. Hey! Isn't that Cloud Retainer? What's she doing here?